Hi, I'm John and this is Karen. In this series of videos, we're going to teach you over 20 different ways to swing. Links to all the videos, plus lots more information about swinging, is at www.contrafusion.co.uk. It doesn't matter whether you call it contra dancing, Kaylee dancing, ECD, country dancing, square dancing, folk dancing, or anything else, it's all the same moves and the same techniques apply. For some moves, you need to differentiate between the two roles. I'm going to call myself the man and Karen the lady. You can call them larks and ravens, or the one with the pointy hand, or anything else you like. It doesn't matter, they're just roles. Anyone can dance either role and have fun. Here are a few swing variations done to smooth reels. This is a standard ballroom hold buzz step swing. This is called a wedding cake. And this is a Galway swing. Here's a couple of different swing variations done to bouncy jigs. This is a two hand turn, and this is a four arm swing. The common factor in all these swings is that we're rotating around a shared axis. The only thing touching the ground is your feet. Your feet are the only things that can make the swing work. Some people think that leaning will make the swing go faster. Sorry, check your physics. Leaning back will only make it go slower. The only thing that leaning does is tire your partner out as they try to stop you falling over. Some people talk about giving weight. Um, giving weight is a technical term taken from other types of dance and is very often misunderstood. It does not mean pulling or actually giving weight to the other person. What it's about is connection, about controlling your centre of gravity. A good example of giving weight is to just take your centre of gravity back, just sit down a little bit. Can you see how my centre of gravity is moving backwards? If your centre of gravity is too close to the other person, then you've got no connection and no control. Just get that feeling of being further away with your centre of gravity and get a good connection with the other person. That will make the swing go better. Please note, when I take my centre of gravity back, I'm still keeping my own balance completely. It's always important to keep your own balance during a swing. Some people use too much strength when they're swinging. You really don't need any muscles to do a good swing. The only thing your muscles are for is to counteract centrifugal force if you speed up. The best advice that I can give to experienced dancers is to relax, make a good connection and enjoy the flow using your feet to make the swing go faster. You may have noticed in the demonstrations earlier that we'll be using different types of footwork. If you're far apart, the loosish connection, then you can do different footwork. So Karen's going to do one, two, three hops, and I'm going to do one hops. And it all works fine because we're not too close together. If you try to do the same thing in a close hold, then it gets very uncomfortable. <laughs> and it's much better then. The best step is a bus step. Nice and smooth, and you stay together. To do a buzz step, plant your right foot and put your left toe just behind it. And then walk fast in time with the music. Relax your knees so you don't go up and down. And then push with your left foot so you go around in a circle. If you put your arms out to get balance, you can practice going faster. Make sure your foot isn't too far apart. You don't want to be galloping like this. Get your feet close together, relax completely, 
and just spin. Swings can be any length. A standard swing is just 8 beats. A long swing is 16 beats. A balance and swing means the swing is just 12 beats. But it can be even longer. For instance, in the La Russe, you get to swing for 24 beats. There are lots of different ways to do a balance and swing. There's a document from the 1950s called 50 Ways to Balance. So experiment and have fun. These are some of the most common forms. This is a step stamp. Balance and swing. This one is a one, two, threes. Balance and swing. Notice each time we step back, don't pull or lean, keep your own balance completely. Just make good connections so the elastic in your arms pulls you into the swing. Another variation is step kick. Set first. Some people who don't like swinging as much do too. And they walk around as well sometimes. So we're going to teach you 20 different ways to swing. How do you know which one you're going to do? The answer is it's a negotiation. One person gives an invitation, the other responds. So, if I come towards Karen offering a Galway swing, she just mirrors me and we end up doing a Galway swing. If Karen comes towards me offering a wedding cake, then I mirror her and we end up doing the wedding cake. If, if I offer a Galway swing and Karen offers a wedding cake, then someone has to defer. Okay, on to the next video, and don't forget to have a look at www.contrafusion.co.uk for lots more information and links to all the videos.